Glory to Jesus. Welcome again to another episode of Know His Word with Bakar Benga. Today I'll be sharing with you and give you a better understanding that God does not place favorite. Okay? So come with me to the book of Acts chapter 10. Now it's a very lengthy story, so you can take your time to read from verse 1. This is a story of Colinius' conversion. How God revealed to Colinius, how God revealed to Peter, how two of them came together. How Peter began to have better understanding of God's perspective. So look at verse 34. Verse 34 in King James, the Bible says, Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. The message version says, God does not place favorite. Now, we've all been in a condition whereby you feel that God loves this person more than this person. God loves this pastor more than this pastor. God loves this member more than this member. No, God does not place favorite. A little. God does not place favorite. You need to have the understanding. So what is a game changer? So for those using the, the King James Bible, if you discover in verse 35 or verse 34, at the end of verse 34, you have a punctuation mark there, which is colon, which is trying to take us further into a better expression, a better light. So verse 35 is an explanation of verse 34. So what does it mean to be in that, in that level? Look at it. But in every nation, he that feareth him and walketh righteousness is accepted with him. So the reason why people feel that this person is accepted more than this other person is because the, the, the one you feel that is more accepted with God are people that fear it and walk at righteousness. Now, King James word might be big for you, but when you go to the message version, message version says that the doors is only open to those that does whatever God says. I call it do as I say. Do as I say. Remember, this is what was given by Jesus, the mother of Jesus, Mary, while he was in heart. The first miracle in John chapter 2, he said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. So if there's anything like God's favor, right? How can you be in the league if there's anything? So how can you be in the league? The only thing that guarantees you that access is do as he says. If this is somebody is hearing God, if somebody is about to, to move into healing, to move into the prophetic, to call you your name, to tell you your situation, and you say, yes, it is true. This is a product of people that have built up their level of obedience with their work in God. It's all about do, as I said. The voice of God becomes more clearer to you the more you hear and you do. Look at what. Look, look, look at what and, and James chapter 1 verse 20 says. He said, it is not only in the hearing, but the doers of the word. That is what makes the difference. If you check the message versions, it gives us a very good English there. Do you see that? He's still talking about do as I say. So, what distinguishes me or you from me or me from you is just my ability to do as God has spoken. My ability to do as God has spoken to me. My response to do what God says. A little. It can be little. It can be much. God does not have to. It is not every time God comes to give you. To tell you to do something that is bigger than you know. A little word like wake up and pray. Is a part of the training. A little word like give this person this money. Is part of the training. A little word like intercede for the church is part of the training. The more you react to that word, the more you grow better in that voice, in your hearing, in that perspective. It's so wide. But to the extent to which you can express it, take this clearly. That no one is God's favorite. God doesn't play favorite. What looks as if God, what looks or appears to you as if God is closer to this person than you is because the person have trained up himself in what I call do. As he says. Hallelujah. Somebody is hearing this word this morning. As you go and hear and ache into the voice of God come to you. The miracle comes to your door. In the name of Jesus. I see you again next week. The Lord bless you.